Hey guys, welcome to the 14th video of my series on regex in Python and in this video we are going to talk about the concept of named groups in the regular expressions. So what is a named group? So in the last two videos we have learned a bit about grouping and now let's consider a situation where you want to refer, refer to a group by some name. So till now we have been referring to groups by their index number like 0, 1, 2, 3. But what if I want to refer to a group by some better name? So for that, if I just refer to a group by some name, then such a group is called a named group. That's all. So how do you create a named group is what we need to see. How do you refer to a named group um, in case of substitution or anything else is what we need to understand. So um, let us consider a case here first. So let us see an example to understand how to make named groups. Okay. So import re. Now text is Nikhil Kumar. Let's say. Now what I want to do is here is extract the first name and the last name of the person. So how do you extract the first name and the last name of the person? You can just do pattern is equal to re.compile. So now how do you create two groups? So first of all I have to extract first name and the last name so I will create two groups. So the first group contains some characters, second group contains some alphanumeric characters. Now I need to give some names to my group. So how do you give a name to a group? All you have to do is you have to put question mark and then you have to put P and then you have to just give some name in this format question mark P and then less than greater than symbols and close them in the less than greater than symbol. So first and here question mark P last that's it. So in this way by writing just this much part inside your group you have given it some name. So now let me run it pattern is this and now if I just try to do pattern dot um, let's say pattern dot match txt so this is match is this so this is our match so if I just try to do uh, if I let's say if I want to refer to it so how can I do that so let us try to see match dot group first so look at that I get the first name so instead of writing any index if I have written one here I would get the same result because it is the index one group but even if I write the name of my group like first I will get the result similarly match dot group last I will get the last name so in this way I am referring to my groups with some name instead of an index number so in this way you can use the concept of named groups now uh, let us move on to the next scenario where I want to swap the first name and the last name in the above example so how can I go about doing that it is quite easy again you have to do pattern dot sub in which now you have to give some replacement string over your text so what is my replacement string my replacement string uh, in my replacement string I can either do slash two slash one that will also work as we know um, okay let me make it a raw string so slash two slash one is also work is also going to work but what if you want to refer them by their names the names of the groups for that you have to follow this pattern slash g and the name of your group so let me do it like this um, slash g first uh, okay last because I have to swap and slash g first that's it and we get the output okay so in this way you can um, refer to your named groups in these substitution strings so this is how you do it now let us take a look at a last example for the named group section which is consider a scenario where we want to check if a person has the same first name and the same last name so basically we are talking about the concept of back referencing here which we talked about in the last video so how can we implement back referencing in the case of named groups that is what we need to see here so how do you do that so in order to do that all you have to do is um, pattern is equal to re.compile so what is my pattern so my pattern is first of all slash w plus okay so what if I were not using the name groups I would have put slash one here that's it this would have been my answer but now I want I'm going to refer it by some name so let me call it question mark p first so this is the name of my group so how do I refer my group here so in order to do that the syntax is question mark p and then equal to symbol so you have to use question mark um, question mark p p equal to first that's it so in this way it will work so match is equal to pattern dot match is equal to pattern dot um, match text 
so let us take a look at the match yeah so we got a match of johnson johnson so in this way we are able to verify that yes there exists a match because this person has the same first name and the same last name so yeah so this is all about the concept of name groups one more thing which you might be interested in knowing here is that there exists something called pattern dict so okay so there is something called group dict so let us take a look at group dict here so yeah so you can use group dict the concept of group dict as well so since you are referring your groups by some name so you can create a dictionary of that also where the keys will be the names of the groups and the values will be the matched strings for those particular groups so match.groupdict will give you that so match.groupdict and then you just write first that will also work okay so yeah so this was all about the concept of named groups i hope the concept of named groups is clear now if you still have doubts you can put them in the comment section below that's it from this video thanks for watching